Hello there. My name is Rachel. The first time you see my channel, you should review cartoon series, anime series. So something new, completely random. And today we talk about True Hunters, Rise of the Titans. Now this movie that you kind of need to see the rest of the series of this show is actually based on uh, yes and no. It's a show, only show, the movie in other words, that it's sort of tempted to explain all three series in the first couple of minutes to get you at least understand or you forgot some things just to refresh your memory, but sort of a comedic way to get yourself into the movie that it actually kind of works, kind of doesn't. It's a refresher, but at the same time, it depends on you if you watch the series, and it really helps if you did, but you didn't. You can have at least an interesting game just watching and try to keep up what's going on. I mean, they tend to explain it the best when you can, but there's some characters that didn't really have enough time to be explained. You just need to know because of the series. But other than that, what they are, how they act, be sure enough to enjoy the films if you did not watch the rest of the series. All of that, I have a great time. I mean, the series has its cheesy moments, but in the end, it did deliver. I had my fun, but especially how everything sort of well connected because every time the character dies or get attacked, you sort of understand. You have to sort of work with them because you understand each character. You know their issues. You know how they rose to the top, becoming the person must be become of that moment. And that I think is sort of worth watching if you invest all your time. Now, the story of this movie is basically sort of in the world scenario because they're the three gods of death, fire, and earth, in other words. All three of them are sort of tired of the humanity, how they ruin the world. They all created this world to be equal, but now the human beings, they think it's all that in a bag of chips. You know what? Screw you. We just restart all over again. Kill everybody and just redo the whole thing because the humans ruined it because everybody knows human beings sucks. I agree. But I love it that our main character, Jim, the troll hunter, tempted to convince him and stop him with the rest of the allies they made of the rest of the different franchise, the magic world and the alien world, and Jim and the troll world, combined to stop and convince the gods to not doing this. And I love it that almost kind of focus on Jim sort of dying himself, because you see him sort of rolls to the top if you watch the series, to see him sort of struggle, see his friends dying left and right, realizing if it's worth becoming the troll hunter anymore, worth doing what he must do. And that's probably the most satisfying thing ever because it's all come up with what he did was completely worth it. You love it how the whole movie ends with a sort of a very interesting answer. Like, do not want to spoil this movie. If you've seen now, I recommend it to basically log off and watch the film if you not have seen it. But here on end, it'll be spoilers. Like, the end, how Jim sort of resets time and sort of retelling the story of his point of view for a few moments before the whole movie ends because they left it sort of a gap if they want to make a sequel because it sort of shows that he sort of retired to be the troll hunter and leave his best friend to become the new troll hunter. It's almost like I can see how the movie would continue on if they decide to make a sequel that how Jim coach his friend to become the Troll Hunter. He's seen all the events. He can predict everything. And that is sort of interesting because he decided that. Because if he was the Troll Hunter, he knows the uh, uh, the effect of everyone. He knows the end. So he tried not to steer that direction. He tried to steer the different one to make it more peaceful. But I love it. it's sort of kind of leaving your imagination or for the sequel. And that is sort of kind of refreshing because Usually it's like the hero will uh, survive and save everyone. You sacrifice some people. That's too bad. Sad. But life must continue. But this one sort of decided to do something different. Because at the end, really did spoke to me. Of course, the movie is, I don't want to say predictable. But you've seen enough kind of action films. You know where, go, like, where you know where it's about to be gone. But that's why the ending made it so much special. You to see Jim sort of realizing maybe a different approach will help. Hopefully they do make a sequel because at the end it's just so good. Especially how each character has their moments. I mean, they have a lot of characters and it's kind of hard to juggle all of them and also try to remember who is who because 
to make the series takes a long time to make a new show and just sort of connect it. But in the end, it works. I mean, I kind of wish this was a uh, in the theaters because how big the action is, especially with the Titans they created. They have this sort of kind of Pacific Rim kind of uh, Roy ba- uh, Roy Balel. Sorry, I'm stuttering, but you get to what I mean. It's it was sort of fun. And that's how I enjoyed the series. It also took itself serious and comedic in the same time the best they can. I, I, I think it's the, the best of all time off of the rest of the series. Because usually the series I have to criticize was usually okay. I mean, very beginning, they did kind of trip a little bit. Especially the first uh, 400 seasons. But after that, they sort of bought their footing and proved them about that. Especially, they did not know how to make a good villain. I mean, they have DC villains, but nothing like the Joker or like Thanos type of villain that's sort of complicated or very interesting. They have their moments. But this show has always been focused on character development. Never the main villain or the issues, how they feeling, how I should react to this, instead of maturing the very beginning to understand what is the best uh, answer of this character. Yeah, I think that's the reason why I appreciated this film so much. It's something that I wasn't expecting how mature the, this movie became the very end. Even it's still wacky and weird, it really trying to live that sort of mature answer that I appreciate. Now, I have the one question. Do you see the movie? Do you like it? If you hate it, tell me down below. Let me know. I got really nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.